Okay, so when you hear the term mobile game ads, it's really it's usually those ads that that are tortuous that are torturous to watch. I can't say it right. So so the problem with mobile game ads is the length. Seriously, every game seriously, every mobile game ad would would just Every mobile game ad is 30 seconds. And that might not seem like a long time, but... Oh, boy. Okay, so when I get an ad, it's literally 30 seconds. When I go to get a reward, guess what? 30 second ad. Seriously, there are games that use ads to unlock stuff. And the reason why they put ads is clearly so they can make money. By just spamming ads, either with the same game, either with the same game that they're trying to advertise, or something else. But then you got strategy game ads, and yes, you heard me. You definitely heard me. Strategy game ads. Okay, so the reason why they suck is clearly because, well. They're annoying. Just watch any YouTube video or play any game. You'll be subjected to a strategy game ad where people sit, where people just flex about their stuff. And they clearly pretend to level up so they so they can so they can defeat someone, which isn't true. Which which leveling up in one day might not be true. It would it would require practice. More specifically, leveling up. In fact, it take it would take a few days, months, even a year to get good at games. Even so, even so, there would there would be many ads where they say, I got better power and better stuff than you, or you're a loser, or, or, I got high enough, I got high amount of power than you losers. And honestly, it's quite annoying seeing how the people who flex about their skills are just bullies. Then there's the jackpot game ads, where they say, "Get free jackpots! Hey, <laughs> you'll get ten trillion dollars, uh, ten trillion coins!" Hey, <laughs> but that would also, re- but that would, all- but that would take months, possibly a year. And then there's, <sighs> you guessed it, scam ads. Yes, scam ads. I'm not even kidding. So these are ads that that would advertise, that would say stuff like, "You want some free Robux? Then get some free Robux by playing one of our games." <laughs> or you want V Bucks? Then play one of our games to get V Bucks. <laughs> or at least want some points in certain games. Play our games. <laughs> so, the problem with these types of ads is that they are just scams. Like, they are scamming you. Like, seriously, you w- you go to play a free ro- a game that advertises free Robux only to get nothing. No free Robux. Clearly making this a scam. And, you know, there are still free Robux ads everywhere. In fact, some ads, in fact, sometimes there would be ads saying that Fortnite is back. But that's not true. Fortnite is not back on mobile. Saying that Fortnite is back on mobile. But Fortnite is not back on mobile. See, after the lawsuit with Apple. See, I have, okay, hold on. After Epic Games, the developer of Fortnite, the, the the people who made Fortnite lost the the, the lawsuit against Apple because, because Epic 
refuse to pay their percentage of money and broke the TOS. Fortnite Mobile has been deleted from the IO from the Apple App Store, especially the Google Play Store. Fortnite has been wiped out on mobile everywhere. And people who still have Fortnite on mobile, well, they are stuck on chapter two, season three. And yeah. It's probably never and yeah, that happened for two years. Yeah, we still don't have mobile two years later. So what's the point of making in fact the only way to play Fortnite on mobile is to use alternatives. In fact, even RTX stuff could do that. But but as they already know, they could just play Fortnite on consoles or PC because that is just how it works. You can't just advertise games that say you can't just ad can't just make ads saying Fortnite is back on mobile. In fact, there are free V Buck in fact there are some free in fact I think there are free V Buck scams but but you know I'm pretty sure they don't exist. Luckily from the fact that Fortnite is gone on mobile. And and as a result, they're stuck. So people who still have it are stuck on chapter two, season three. And people who don't have it will have to get a console or resort to the freaking ripoffs. Yeah, mobile ripoff games. You could just be watching a Roblox video or um or any video to be exact and you'll find you know find scam ads. And then there's Mafia City ads which Jesus Christ don't get me started. These ads are terrible because it's just a world building game. Nothing but a world building game. That is some bull. That is some bull trash. There, I didn't swear. See, that's trash. Like me from the fact that, well, it's just a world building game. Like, you don't get to raise hell and stuff. No, it's a world building game. And the, and the most annoying part, after you play about five minutes, Credits go to Savox for this line. After you, and after you played about five minutes, you would get a little pop up saying, "Play, saying pay now or wait eight hours before you can do anything else." What? Like, come on, who has to? Like, come on, they're only five minutes into a freaking game, and they have to wait, and they have to pay money or wait eight hours. In fact, even console games, in fact, console games and computer games wouldn't have ads. Popular console and computer games that they, oh, I'm sorry for the freaking fan. So, so, to be honest, these ads are, in my opinion, annoying and they are trash. Likely from the fact that there are a lot of scam ads, a lot of ads about people flexing about their stuff. Yeah, a lot of ads about people flexing and more. That's not what I'm really saying, you know, people who get bullied in the ads. Like, I feel bad for the actors who had to bully the other. I feel sad for the actors who were bullied in in their ads like clearly the people who run these ads are well they're just trash but remember yeah 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 so remember don't trust these ads. 
Especially the free Robux ads. They will scam you. In fact, if you want Robux, just pay for it. Okay, just pay for Robux. Don't steal your parents' credit card or something. But just please, if you want Robux, pay for it. If you want V-Bucks, pay for it. Or just get it from the Battle Pass. Just get V-Bucks from the Battle Pass. All that. You don't need these ads. What's the point of making free scam free things? What's the point of making scam ads that advertise free things? If they just if they're just wanting you to come on. Clearly the ads would be made by clearly those clearly those types of Oh, okay, so okay. clearly these types of ads would be made by bots because because there's no such thing as a Robux generator or a V-Bucks generator. And and possibly bot and bots can scam people. I mean humans do too. I mean bots scam I mean some bots are scammers. In fact, that's not saying the amount of bots on YouTube that that says tap my profile to get free Robux. Okay, so this is Pike the German speaking guy 2010 signing off. Bye.